They say once you reach rock bottom, the only way is up from there. Unless you're Manchester United, then you seem to dig yourself a deeper and deeper hole. It's great, really. Doesn't hurt me at all. Nope, not one bit. Hey, Ryan Finia, that is FY Dublin for your regular Premier League slash Manchester United content. Sorry I didn't make a video about the Manchester derby. I am making this video instead of that video just because I wanted to talk about Manchester United problems in general. Not like other YouTubers or myself haven't done that before. Just in general, the transfers that we do desperately need to make this transfer window. Just changes in the club that need to be made. And of course, as I did mention, I do make weekly Premier League predictions. So if you're not just the United fan, if you support the Premier League subscribe and help this channel out and hit that bell notification so you do get notified as soon as I do upload videos so getting into this I do want to talk about the fact that it's not just the players that have messed up for this club who big surprise I don't know if anyone of you has heard about the name Ed Woodward before have you I don't know it might be the first time you've heard of that before highly doubtful that man at the top of our club look he's a businessman running this club but I do have to say we need someone with a love for the team not just a love for business or who's a businessman I'm not sure he has a love for anything to be 100% honest with you I mean I can't clarify that but I do just want to say I'm not sure Woodward is the biggest fan of the sport I do want to say we need someone with passion for the club who wants to see this club succeed and not just a businessman we need someone else other than Woodward manager wise I've said this before Ole Gunnar Solskjaer yes he definitely loves the club he is a club hero he is our baby faced assassin I do want to say I think it's no surprise that no matter what but I think we need a new manager. Someone who's tasted success before. I think that's the major one. He has to himself have tasted that glorious, glorious success. We need someone great like a Pochettino who's done well with other clubs before, although hasn't won a major trophy got to the finals of Champions League. That is major, major. We need someone like that. We need someone like Allegri. We need someone like Simeone from Atletico Madrid. Someone huge. We do need that. Talking about player transfers, let's talk about our centre-backs. Watching that City game just really showed me that we definitely need more centre-backs. You might say we have two very, very strong centre-backs in Lindelof and Maguire, but the biggest teams we get Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City. Teams like that have so many centre-backs. They've got a good handful of centre-backs that do really just help each other compete to be the best of the best. That's what we need because let's be honest, I mean, we look at Phil Jones in that game and I mean, he was one of those things that just stand outside a car garage, isn't he? I mean, I have to say that was a shocking performance from him. And under what roof or in what universe do you play Jones over Twanzebe or Rojo? I mean, apparently we looking to sell Rojo, which is an absolute madness because I'd play him every day over Jones. I would bring back Smalling and play him over Jones every day of the week because it really just isn't working out Jones. I'm sorry it's you not me I have to say he needs to go. Center back wise as I said we need a few more center backs maybe a good one or two very strong center backs so that we have three or four world class center backs that can help each other compete to be the best of the best because Lindelof you look pretty shocking versus Manchester City I won't lie to you. Maguire when he plays looks strong but he did not play. I have to say in general that I think that we need a player like Jonathan Tarr from Leverkusen and Amtiti from Barcelona. Those are players that we definitely do need because Twanzebe is not quite ready yet. Tarr could pro possibly make the move because Leverkusen isn't doing that well in Bundesliga and they won't win anything. And Amtiti isn't getting that much game time. He is not the favorite center back or even the second favorite center back. So he does need to make a move. So I would go for Samuel Amtiti even. I think then we are sorted with center backs. Unfortunately, Bailey is too injury prone to to play and I think we do need to sell him otherwise we could find ourselves with a serious serious injury prone player that has stuck with us for many many years looking at our fullbacks and our prayers have been answered it's a weird prayer that's answered it's a weird solution Ashley Young apparently has been in advanced talks with Inter Milan what what the f I know really weird but I do have to say I think that's perfect for them they use left wing backs and right wing backs which we just use normal left and right backs I think that's perfect for Ashley Young because that's more attacking for him because let's be honest I don't think defending is his strong suit I think that's perfect for him and other than that I think fullbacks we are absolutely sorted I don't think we need a new left back or a new right back I mean at top of my head I mean I can just name Shaw, Delo, Wan-Bissaka, Fosu Williams I think we're absolutely sorted 
A big talk is on midfield, and yes, we definitely do need new midfielders. And I think that Madison is definitely, he's just out there. He's just not happening, sadly. I've spoken about our midfielders before in depth in other videos where I have spoken about their numbers in terms of goals and assists. I won't talk about that now. I'll just talk about the players in general. We need a player like Madison, but Madison wouldn't move. Brendan Rodgers said so, and you know, he's he's the mom. So yeah, definitely the mom of the group. But yeah, you listen to mother, don't you? Oh, that was a bit weird. I, mm, cut that, cut that. Once again, Champions League is a huge thing. Players will move to a team that is going to be in the Champions League. We are five points off of Champions League at the moment. Can it happen? I mean, if we stop messing up, then maybe. But are oh, we going to stop messing up? Nope. I do have to say, midfield-wise, we need to get rid of Matic. Matic is just going to become a liability. Get out of there quick. Talking about that, then we need a really strong holding midfielder. I think Ndidi is the correct one because we've seen him in games for Leicester City run circles around Liverpool players. I think he's a very strong very young centre defensive midfielder who has real hunger and real passion in his belly to really get something just more you know I really think that he could be a strong one in Didi along with maybe Neves from Wolves I think he's a strong one he's been linked to United for a very long time I think I'd absolutely love to get him at the same time I've mentioned maybe Fosu Mensa could play that position we really need someone young someone with good eye we need someone who's really just fast and pacey just a bit more mobile than what Matic is and talking about just other defensive midfielders, another one could be Partey Thomas from Atletico Madrid. I think he's a solid option because he is currently, look, 26. We could go for younger players because that's what we've been trying to do. But 26, not that bad. We could definitely go with that. But otherwise, I think he would be a solid one because he's not going to win anything with Atletico Madrid this season. But I think he's solid. Looking at other attacking midfielders in general, as I mentioned, uh, when it comes to attacking midfielders, Madison, I think, is out the window. Whether Didi out the window I don't know with Leicester City because it's very similar I think Havertz would be a solid one because of Leverkusen not being able to win anything but whether he'll move I don't necessarily think so the other midfielders we've looked at is Bruno Fernandes that's happened forever but look that's just I think that's just I don't know some sort of relationship that's just never going to happen it's just like being in love with some sort of you know that really hot actress that everyone liked as a kid but let's be honest it's just not very realistic is it i mean i would love to see a move but i don't really see it happening for some reason especially not this transfer window because we haven't gone into any talks about it i mean everything's just room after room after rumor i think jack Grealish is the top one that we should go for because apparently we've looked at him aston villa is not doing that well this premier league season they're struggling not to get relegated because that's that's a high possibility for them. I think Grealish is a top one because his numbers are very impressive for a team that's not doing so well. He's been linked to the club. He's young. He's a good attacking midfielder. I think Grealish is the way. Do you know the way? And apparently, I mean, another prayer answered a weird one. Lingard is apparently heavily linked to AC Milan. I never thought I'd love to see the day Zlatan plays with Jesse Lingard as his main man at AC Milan. It's quite a weird one, but... Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say past that. Last position I will talk about is the right wing position. Yes, Daniel James, very good. He is in the top five for assists this season in the Premier League. Very, very good player, but I think just the top one we do need, because we can't play Greenwood or James in that position at the moment. They still have time to grow. They still need to grow as the players that they are. I think we need a defined world-class right wing who has defined himself as world-class. We can't keep on just praising youngsters we need someone even if it's just Gareth Bale for a season or two I mean that's probably all he's worth for because he'll be injured for that whole year probably and we'll just end up paying his wages but I think Gareth Bale get him in there he's a strong confident right wing I mean and let's just hope he favors us over golf <laughs> this is great banter it really is but I think Gareth Bale would be a, such a strong one because he has defined himself as a world-class player and he really can be a hero for Manchester United in that right wing position. Plus, he could obviously make that move because Daniel James, him, both Welsh, maybe they've spoken in the national team, who knows? The ones I've spoken about, because there's been links to Dembele from Barcelona, I don't really see that happening. I don't really want that to happen. Yes, he's fast. Yes, he's very good. But he hasn't defined himself as world-class yet, yet because he still hasn't really proven himself to be the best of the best quite yet, which is exactly what United need. I think Jadon Sancho is still the top one. 
Currently nine goals, nine assists in Bundesliga. That is crazy. Super young, doing well for England, been linked to us for a very, very long time. I think that is the move for us to make. Last one I want to talk about quickly, just Adama Traore. I think that could be a weird one. I know it's a very weird one. I think that would be such a solid one that made me happy. Adama Traore, Wolves to Manchester United. There's been no link, no talk about it. I think that's just the move that we should go for because it is so out there. Wolves very close to United. Therefore, we take that advantage away from them. They fall back a bit. We definitely do have the money for Adama Traore before he gets too expensive because come the end of the season, he could be close to like an 80 million pound player. I think we need to go fast. We need to act fast before Adama Traore is too expensive because he is an absolute beast. I mean, look at that. That is bigger than my head. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, Manchester United, you guys need to improve. Please, for me, for the rest of the fans, my camera has gone skew. Why is my camera gone skew? Hold on. And in general, just Manchester United needs to get themselves fixed. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Please help me reach 300 subscribers. We'd really, really appreciate that. Manchester United, fix yourself, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Please do subscribe, like, comment, follow my Instagram, Finn Krause Football. Love every single one of you. Yes, even you. Stay awesome. Cheers.